Boker Tov. Today's daf of daf Dalid. Shavua Tov. Daf Dalid in Babetzias. We learned for Achenu Kol Beis Yisrael and Masum Matzar Vesivya. We're halfway down the page uh, on uh, the word Ella. Right. The, Gemara, the beginning line says Hazam Ela Parach. Ella. What's the discussion? Let's quickly review yesterday's daf. Yesterday, Rav Chia said, "Well, we know we we all know the concept of motive and mixes. It's Allah and the Torah. It's learned out of Sukkim. We'll learn it later on, but let's see again." <laughs> that Motiv Mixa says that if I say you owe me a hundred dollars, I like Gemara always use the example of fifty and fifty, but just to make it simple, Gemara said the Torah says <coughs> I say you owe me a hundred dollars, and you admit to seventy-five. You admit you owe me seventy-five dollars, but you deny the other twenty-five. You have to make a shvu in the other twenty-five. Again, the shvu in the Torah is always when you deny. Another shvu in the Torah is where I say you owe me a hundred dollars. And I have a witness that says you owe me $100. I don't have two witnesses. If two witnesses, that's it. No shvur, nothing. That's case closed. Two witnesses. But if I, if one witness confirms what I say, you owe me $100, you also have to make a shvur that you don't owe the $100. The shvur that writes is always that I don't owe. All the shvurs that I collect, for example, we had with the case of Vani on Pincoso, where the boss told the shopkeeper, give my worker $500 and I'll pay you back. And then... The shopkeeper says, I gave him the $500. The worker says, I didn't get the $500. So we said, they each, they each make a claim on the on the owner, on the owner, on the boss. And at the end of the Friday stop, I think Avram and a few other people ask, well, why, what's the difference? Why uh, why don't they have to make a shvur there too? Because each one has a claim. The worker says, listen, why do I have to make a shvur? You owe me $500. I work for you. Give me the money. And the... Um, and the shopkeeper says, listen, you told me to pay him. You didn't tell me to make a shvu. I don't know this guy. You told me to get the guy $500 and I'll pay you back. So each one collects from the boss without any, without making a shvu. So there is not even a shvu. But in cases where you do make a shvu, for example, shvu assesses, where you deny the whole thing. The and say anyway, you make a shvu. You make a shvu, even though men Torah, you don't. But the Torah's shvu is, the basic Torah shvu is motive and mix us. I, I, I admit that I'm part of it. Again, I say you owe me $100, and you admit that you owe me 75 but you deny the other 25 you have to make a shvua. Rav Chia, back on Daf Gimel, on yesterday's daf, on the other, on the other 25 that you deny and the other 25 If you don't make a shvua, sure. if you don't make a shvua, then the, the, then the Besson will say he has, to pay the, he has to pay the other 25 He admits to the 75 you'll have to pay the whole 100 exactly. If he doesn't make a shvua, Besson will be high to pay the whole thing. Now, Rav Chia said, a big finish, he said that not only if you admit to the 75, again, I owe you, Reuben says, let's say, Reuben says to Shimon, you owe me, the, or the Malva says to the Lova, you owe me $100. The Lova says, I admit to 75, I don't owe the other 25. There you make a shvur. Avchia says, there's another case like that, where the Malva says to the Lova, you owe me $100. The Lova does not admit to anything, but there are Adam who are moted to the 75. The Adam say, yeah, he owes you, uh, uh, to who are motivated to the 75, right? Adam say, uh, we, well, we know he owes you 75, but we don't know about the other 25, deny the other 25. They admit, in other words, what, what um, triggers the Shvua in the Torah when he admits to 75, motive of mix us. As Rabba said, remember that whole Drush Rabba said, really, a guy would deny the whole thing, but isn't the chutzpah a lie? So he would admit to the whole thing, but she really admits it. He really would admit it, but he says, okay, I'll push him off for a while. So I'll admit to half. It's like a shtick. When, when your motive mixes, it's like the Torah is going into your psych, psych, psych and saying, if your motive mixes, us, you probably owe the whole thing, but you're just trying to push him off. So we make you make a shvua. Says, says Rav Chia, not only with the psyche where you're motive to part of it, even if Adam are motive to part of it on your behalf, you deny the whole thing. But Adam come and say, we, we know that you owe the 75. Now, how would Adam know? Maybe it just took place a few minutes ago. Adam saw me give the hundred dollars, right? And they say maybe he gave back twenty-five right away. He still owes the seventy-five. But Adam would know. So Rav Chia said on the Gimel that if a guy claims he owe me hundred dollars, and the other guy says, and 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 he denies the whole thing, and Adam say, yeah, he's moda to seventy-five, right? That he gives him that, and he has to swear. In other words that Adam can't be worse than your own moda. If I moded a 75, I have to swear in the other 25. So if Adam or so to speak moda for me, their moda, I have 75, that can't be any worse. That's Rav Chiyashita. We'll see that's disputed on tomorrow's now. But that's Rav Chiyashita. And apparently that's the halacha that 
a motive of mixes where you're not motive yourself, but eight are motive for you. That's also that also that's counts. Completely different than the motive mixes. Yes, it's different than the motive mixes, but it's motive mixes. You have a definitive statement at seventy-five. Yeah, yeah, but Adam, Adam is there's nothing more definitive than Adam. No, I'm the question is, so where is the psychosis? No, yeah, the right, right. It's definitive on seventy-five, but it's not on the other one. Okay, so that's a make a make a on, on the other one, right? But I said why? Because eight. If if you can if if his own so hodah right, right. right so there's so as far as if there's eight him if eight if him, his own hodah can force him to make a shvuah in the other twenty five so because so, they were afraid he's trying to okay uh, uh, so if you go by Rabba's uh, svara you're right that that the psyche doesn't apply but the svara is that if my own mouth can make me um, make a shvuah on the other twenty five Adam should also be certainly capable of making me make a shvuah on the other twenty five. And Achanami is disputed. This is Rav Chiyashita. Now the Gemara said, okay, why are we still dealing with it now? Because the Gemara is still dealing with it. The Gemara says, yes, but Rav Chiyah went on to say, and you have a proof from our Mishnah. From our Mishnah, you have a proof from our Mishnah of Shnai Mochs, where two guys are holding on to the Talas. Each one makes a Shvua. Each one makes a Shvua that doesn't have less than half. So that's, the Tanatun is a proof from there. So the Gemara says now, this is where we're up to now. Dafdal and Al, in the middle of the page. Ela the Kamar Tanatuna. So wait a minute. The Tana said, Rav Chia says, and you have a proof from our mission that way. What does our mission have to do with that? We're talking about a case where I claim the Malva says you owe me hundred dollars. The Loba says, I don't owe you anything. Adam say, yes, we owe you the he owes you 75. He owes you 75. He denies the whole thing, but Adam says 75. Rav Chia says he has to make a shvu in the other 25. And you have a proof from our Mishnah. Says the Gemara, what kind of a proof is it from our Mishnah? The Gemara Tana Tuna. You tell me, how can you compare this case of Rav Chia, where the Adam or Moda on his behalf of the seventy-five to our Mishnah? Hasam Malva Sleisadi, Lelova Lesleisadi. In the case of the Malva, the case we just said, where I owe you hundred dollars, and what happens? They the Lelova has no witnesses. The Malva has witnesses that he owes him seventy-five because they're admitted. He admitted he owes you seventy-five. Right, and the Loba has the Loba. Let's say Sadi the Loba The Loba has absolutely no proof to his claim. The Malva has a proof, at least some partial of the claim. He says, "You owe me hundred dollars." The Adam say, "Yeah, he owes you seventy-five. So there's something there. The Loba has no proof at all. The Avasadi the Loba. If the Loba would have witnesses that he doesn't owe him the seventy-five, the Lomasik Loba that he doesn't have any proof. The boy Rav Kiyoshu wouldn't make him swear. If the Malva says, "You owe me hundred dollars." And the Malvi, even if he has Adam that says he owes me, yes, he has Adam that owes 75. And the Loba has Adam and he owes him nothing. Then he gave him the and gave it right back. We well, wouldn't have to make a shvuah. But in the case of Shnaim and what does that have to do with that? Kechid Anan Sadi Delahai, Just like we know it's Anan Sadi, if each guy's holding half, it's like we are witnesses that he owes half. Kechid Anan Sadi Lahai, Anan Sadi Lahai, they're both equal. But feel Lachim still you swear. How can you compare his case to our Mishnah? In our mission, it's a strange shvuah because they both have, they both are holding on to half. Why do they have to swear? We came out already. We said the other day, what's the reason why you swear? This is really not a shvuah, though, right? It's only because come, so people shouldn't go grab somebody else. Oh, I saw him pick up the house. Why should he get the whole thing? Let me pick it up and I'll get half of it also. That's it, but it has nothing to do with the case of Rafia, where your motive and mix is how you they hate him. I feel like Mishtaba. So therefore, Rafia's argument might still stand. It's a machlokas. Rafia holds one way to see him tomorrow's stop. There's another Tana who holds the other way, that if Adam are moted to the 75 on the Loba's behalf, that doesn't force the Loba to make a Shavuah. Eliki, it more Tana too, and I eat of Rav When he runs to bring a proof from our Mishnah, it's from a different case of Rav Chia. Rav Chia says another halacha also. Now listen to this very carefully. Don't they eat more? Listen to this case of Rav Chia. Don't Rav Chia, man only be at Chavala, and I'm a Chaviari, El Adon It's a classic case, right? Malva says you owe me $100. I'm going to use the case of 75 and 25 because it's easier to explain. When you say, I deny 50 and I admit to 50, and then you start talking about the 50, you can get confused. What are you paying for? You're paying for, are you shvu, Are you making a shvu on the 50 that you admit or on the 50 you deny? And we've explained already, you're, you're making a shvu del raisa on the 50 that you deny. So I like to use the example of 75 and 25, so it's clear. The Malva says you owe me $100. The Loba says, I admit to 75. I don't owe you the other 25. That's the case, right? That's a classic case of, of uh, motor mm -hmm. mixes the rice so that there's no machlokes about that. So that's the case in the, in the learned out of Sukkim. El Anunzus, but here he's as one more cage. El Anunzus, the Halach, and take it. Here it is. In other words, it's not like he says, I, Yeah, I admit I owe you the 75. Don't forget, Milva's loads on it. I don't have to have the money right now. If it's, we had yesterday's humor also, right? 
when if if um if uh, you say, hey, you know, I left, I gave you a deposit of a hundred dollars, and uh, and you deny it, and it's found that you have it, right? Then you're you're a confirmed liar because you couldn't spend it. And you're not allowed to spend it. I just gave it to you to deposit to hold for me. If I gave you a loan, a loan is meant to be spent. So when you deny half of it, you're not necessarily a liar. You could be just pushing me off. You know, you're trying to buy some time. That's the thing. But here, when he says, yes, I admit to the 75, you're not saying just admit 75. Here it is. Here's the 75. Is that also motive of mix us? Or that's what Rafia says. It's motive of mix us and you're higher. The case where, I, in other words, when I say yes, the Lobo says, yes, I owe you 75. It makes no difference if I owe you 75, you know, I'll get it from, from the bank. I'll, I'll find it. I, I owe you the money. Or if he says, yes, I owe you 75, here's the money. Rafia says the same thing. Motive of mix us. That's what Rafia says. What's the other spar? What's the spar the other way? We'll see. It's a machlokas here, right? This is the case. And take it. You're also my time. Hey, look, now, me a time. It's the same thing. Makes no difference if I say, oh, yes, I owe you the 75, or I owe you the 75, and here it is. But Tana Tuna, and that's a proof of my Mishnah. Why? Why is it a proof of my Mishnah? Now, Tana Tuna, Shnai Moks, and Batals, two people, and Tals, and what do we say? They each have to swear that they don't have less than half, and they split it. The keeping the toughness, since each one's grabbing half, a non sided to my toughness. Hey, In other words, Reuben and Shimon are holding on to the towels. Reuben says, it's mine. Shimon says, it's mine, right? But since they're holding on to it, the other guy, each one is telling the other one, hey, you're holding on to my towels. But, right, you're holding on to my towels, but each one's holding on to the other half of the towels. So when he says, holding on to the towels, it's like he's admitting, well, it's mine. Okay, half is yours. You got it. It's yours. It's like it's in your hand. It's not the same case exactly, but it's like that. He says, Whatever he's holding on to is like, yeah, take it. You've got it. You still have to swear. So you see, Mother Mixes a Taina is like that too. Now, it's not really the same case, right? Because it's not, it's, not, it's not a loan. It's not a loan, and he's not giving it back to him, but it's like that. We'll see. He's going to really explain it. Assume too that when they at the time of the Gemara, people didn't have cash on him. What does Helech help? Uh, oh, why does Helech help? I, I, what does that mean? Okay, I'll explain. Unless, well, unless. Well, 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 come, give me, a, give me two more lines, and you'll see why Helech helps. Why Helech helps? Why Helech helps? You mean why Helech doesn't help or help? Why, why doesn't it help? Well, what does right. it help? Okay, we'll see. Because when you see Rav Sheshis Hashita, you'll see why Helech, uh, why Helech is, is not Monitus. Rav Sheshis Amar, this is the Machlokas. Helech is Potter. You don't make a shvua. Why? Why in my time? Even the Omer Lehelach, since he said Lehelach, Hanis uses the commodity, the money that he's matu, command Malku Malvatami. It's like he gave it to him already. If him, what, what's the halacha? Oh, I said before, what's the halacha in Torah? If I say you owe me a hundred dollars and you deny the whole thing, do you make a shvua? No. The Rabbanan, you make a shvua. Says Ben Rites, you don't because it's assumed the Torah says if you deny the whole thing, you wouldn't have the chutzpah to lie unless you really owe it. You don't make a shvua the Raisa. So if Shesha says, that's like, that's that's like I'm denying the whole thing. Why? Because when I say, listen, you owe me hundred dollars and you admit to 75 and you say, here's the money, here's the money. So what are you really saying? The 75 is out of the picture. I gave you back already. On the other 25, I'm denying the whole thing. It's not like it's hundred divided on 75 and 25. That's what I've, and we'll talk and see we pass it like of Shesha's, right? Shesha says, hey, look, it's butter. That's not motive mixes. Motive mixes is, yeah, I owe you, I owe you half or I owe you 75 and I'll pay you the other one later on. But when I say I owe you 75 and here it is, okay, that's uh, no, no contende, right? Where there's no fight about that. That's out of the picture. The other 25, I deny the whole thing. Again, it's as if the mouth is holding it already. Here it is. I have it. It's right here. The Enoch Hamishim, the other 50 or the other 25 that, like I say, Holomodi's not Moda, Hulka, Leko, Dos, Mix Satina, so Mix Satina. So, of Shesha is Kashima season. So, wait a minute. Rav Chia brought her proof from our Mishnah, so to speak. That's like Halach, and you have to make a Shvua. What is Rav Shesha going to do with the Mishnah? Not much of a Kasha, because it's pretty obvious. Rav Shesha says, that's not, he, Rav Shesha says, Halach, even my motor, it's not a motor makes us because it's like you're denying this. This part is one line gave me to you already. The other part, I I deny all things. What is he going to do with our mission? I'm a chavsheshes masdis and takanos chachami. What are you talking about? Our mission is not a shvu del raisa of a heilach and motor makes us. That's not takanos chachami. Like we explained already. So, so the sholei kol echadech and holach. Nobody should go. Everybody should go and grab other people's stuff. Beidach. What about Rukhia? Rukhia also says that our mission is not a case. Stand a case of heilach. 
right? It ain't a Tikkun It is a Tikkun Shem. You're right. It is a Tikkun Shem sign. Umiu, I figure like this. Yeah, my fish from the Midaraisa. This is a bit of a stretch. Rosh says, if you hold that Midaraisa hey lechis chayiv again, let's understand where Rosh says that hey lechis chayiv. He's saying that's moda mix. It's just like moda mix. This is doraisa. Hey is also doraisa. He says if if you say midaraisa hey lechis chayiv a shvur doraisa like moda mix us the taki rabbon shvur kain doraisa. So the rabbis made a tikkun by shnei mochsin. Like a Doraisa too. It's like Halach, you have it already. So we're each denying the whole thing, but they made a Shvua because Halach, just like Halach Mara, mixes your Chayev Shvua Doraisa. So here also, even though this is really Drabonan, but they made one like a Doraisa. If Halach would be Chayev, this is sort of like Halach. Rav Chia is really hedging over here, right? Because he's, he's admitting this is not a real proof from our mission. Our mission is not Halach. It's not a case of Motive and Mixus. I say, take it. It's like this. I made a Shvua Dorabana like the Shvua Dorabana. If you say Halach is Potter, like Rav Shesha says, but Taki Rabbana Shvua, the less like the Vasa Raisa, with the Rabbana make a Shvua that has no basis at all. There's nothing like it in the Torah. Therefore, he denies that. And that's Rav Chia's one. So we'll see that you see the Ramam Sechon as Rav Shesha says Halach is Potter because Halach is not Motive and Mixus. Motive and Mixus, I motive a half and I deny half or three quarters or a quarter, whatever the amount is. But when I'm giving it back to you right now, I'm really denying the whole the other part in total. Therefore, it's not Halach. Now we're going to say Kasha on Rukhia. Slam Dinarim on Amid Bey. Slam Dinarim Mal. Slam Dinarim. Let's say you have a star. The star does not say it's an IOU, but it doesn't give the fixed amount of the money. It just says coins. It says either Dinarim or, or Slam or Dinarim. Those are coins, right? The seller or dinners or seller, whatever. It says coins. Now, coins is minimum two, right? We say coins, minimum two. But it doesn't say how many. The Malva says it's five. You owe me five. The Loba said Loma Shalish three. What do you say? Motive and Mixas? Rab Shimon Alazar says, Hold of Motive Mixas, Tiny Ishba. That's Motive and Mixas. The document doesn't really help you. The document just says coins. Could have been, it's, it's not one, it's at least two. But he says three. The Malva says five. That's Motive and Mixas. But Kiva says, No, he don't make sure of Potter. He could have just said, Listen, the document only confirms two since I'm returning more. Oh, I'm like a Mesha of Veda. What did the rabbi say? The rabbi said that even by a Mesha of Veda, if I find your wallet outside, I find a wallet. I come and say, who lost a wallet? Uh, oh, good. There was $100 in there. Well, I said, no, no. There's only 75 in here. Ah, motive and mix us. The rabbi said, no, no, no. If you're going to make a file with the Mesha of Veda, he's not going to return it. What do I have to get in the problems for? I'll just throw it in the garbage and leave it alone. I'm not going to pick it up. So the rabbi said, Mesha of Veda doesn't make a shvur. So Rabbi Kiva says, this is also Meshaveda. Ain't no like Meshaveda Potter. We have Machlokas between Shimon Lazar and, and Rabbi Kiva. Huh? What's what? Isn't it just like a case where one guy says, you owe me five, and the other guy says, oh, 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 okay. We'll see. What we'll see what. Because what does the star help? We'll see why the star helps. We're going to come to that. Tani Mias, right? The star help. The Rishab. Tani Mias. Shimon Lazar Omer, hold on. It makes a tiny yishba. Shimon says, okay. Whatever makes us, you swear. Time it on Mashalish. Why? Because he said three. The motive mixes. Hush down. Let's say he would say two, which is what the star confirms. Potter, Potter. Now, when I say two, that's really like, it's really like Halach because the star says two. The star says I owe you two. So that's like, it's that's already, there's no fight about that. Hush time, Potter. The high star, the commode, baby. When you're motive to the star, star says coin. So it's a minimal two, right? So I, I admit, so when I admit to two, that's like Halach. It's like Halach. Ushmam and Halach is Potter. This is a proof against Rav Chia. It's a proof to Rav Sheshis that Halach is Potter because he says, if I, he says, why do I say, if I say, if, if the Malva says five and I say three, Motive Mixas. Oh, but if I would say two, it's Mashma, that it's not Motive Mixas, right? It's Halach because that's exactly what the star says. I don't need, you don't need me to say that. It's like it's, that's out of the picture already. So you see Halach is Potter because he's the only Chai because of three. But if I would say two would be potter, so you see, hey, look, it's potter. It says low. Low, I mean, the time is chayiv. So the Gemara says, so it's a kasha of Pierre. Pierre says, no, two is also chayiv. Two is also chayiv, even if it's hey, look. The Haidik Tony Shalish, the reason he says Shalish is like Rabbi Kiva, the exclusion from Rabbi Kiva. In other words, Shumar Lazar says, not like Rabbi Kiva, said, Rabbi Kiva says, it's Mesha Rabbi Eder, because I could have admitted just to two. And I, when I say three, it's like I'm Mesha I'm returning something of my own volition. The star does not confirm three. The star just says two. Upater, Kamash Mazamon, it makes a satan of a chave. And as you're saying that even if you say three, it's chayev. Even if you say three, it's chayev. But if I say two, it's also chayev. It's also motive that makes us with Halach. That's how Rafi will learn. The Gemara says that doesn't make sense. Yihachi, Rab Shimon Alazar should not say, should not just say, oh, that's motive that makes us. Yihachi, Rab Shimon Alazar, Omer, Paul, Behoda makes a tiny yishba. Rab Shimon Alazar's words were, 
since he's Mardu Mitzvah, he should swear. He says, Af say Yishbi Bore. I should say, not only when he says two, if a corn Chia, saying two would also be Mardu Mitzvah, even though it's Halach, because the old Halach is also Mardu Mitzvah, she shouldn't say, if he says three, that's Mardu since he's Mardu Mitzvah. It's even if he says three. <laughs> if he says two, it's Mardu Mitzvah. Even if he says three, it's Mardu Mitzvah, and it's not Neshev of Ada. And therefore, and therefore, it doesn't make sense to say that two is Chayev's Meshav Ada, because otherwise you should say Afzeh. Rabbi Shimon shouldn't say whole bar mixes or yishba. He should say afse yishba yishba and boy lady. That's what that's what Rabbi Kiva should. Uh, that's what Rabbi Shimon Lazar should say. Not only two is mother mixes with with uh, with a halach, but even three afse yishba and boy lady. Elolam shtein potter must be that really shtein is potter. Why kara mixes? But hey, but still Rabbi Lazar still Rabbi Kiva will say halach is chayev. Two is also potter. Two is really potter, like you said. Three is chayev. That's mother mixes. Rabbi Shimon Lazar would say. Two is potter. I is that a proof that Halach is potter against Rafia? He says no. Rafia will maintain his argument. Halach is chayev. You know why over here? Why you don't make a shvua when it's two? Because he Rav Shimon says three and not two. But shiny yochad to masai le star. It's different over here. I have yeah yeah I have a star that's that's motive to me. For example, if if you have a case of motive mix us, Malva says you owe me a hundred. The Lovis says I only owe you seventy five, and you have Adam who also admit. Who also proved yes, he only owes you 75 because he paid you back the other 25, and he wouldn't have to swear. He's got Adam on his side. Here, the star is also like Adam. The star confirms too. He, if he would say two, you say what? Halach is high. Halach normally is higher. But over here, it's not simply a halach. It's got star on my side. It's like a well, proof right. on my side. That's why I wouldn't have to swear. I've got extra proof. Shani the Messiah Le Star. The star is like is proving his case. Over here, what? When you have a star, we have a cloud that a stam star includes an obligation, a mortgage on, 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 on land. And over here, when he's got a star on land, you don't swear on land. A star, a star is an obligation for land. You don't swear when you confirm uh, karka, and you don't swear when you deny karka. Even if it's partial karka, there's no shvuas on that. So this is a special case. Rav Chia will maintain that in this case, where Rabbi Shemar Lazar says, the star says coins, the Malva says five, the Lovis says three. So Shemar Lazar says, oh, he's motive and mix us, motive and mix us. But if he would say two, he'd be potter, not because Halach is potter, Halach normally is chaya, but either over here, the star is confirming what he says. If he says two and the star says minimal is two, presumably, why did, why did, he, why did you leave out the number on the star when they wrote coins? Why did you leave it out? Because obviously he meant to say two. Otherwise, they would have they would have specified three. So the star confirms him, or because you don't swear in karka. He could most be safe, but some say that the kasha was really a roundabout kasha. First asking on Rav Sheshis, who says hey, is potter, and then we come to Rav Chia. Some asking the safer. What are the safes? Are blood Rav Akiva Omer and Alek Meshav Abedu Potter. Even when he says three, the star would say two. The star says coins, and he comes and says, "I owe you three. He's Meshav Abedu. It's like returning a lost item. You know, making swears potter. Time it on Mishalosh." Because he said three, Hashtayim. If it would be two, it's Mashra Chayim. Because he's not Meshav Aveda there, because the star says minimal two. If there would be nothing else, if the court would just look at the star, they'd say, okay, you owe him at least two, give him the two. This is Mashra Chayim. You'd be Chayim to pay, right? Because the star says, oh, right? Vahashtar, the Kamodalai, Kehelech Nami. Again, the star that he's moted to is like Helech. It's, it's automatic. It's like yours already. Shema Mena Yisi Helech is Chayim. Because he says, Rabbi Kiva says, if he says three, it's Meshav Aveda's Potter. But if he says two, it's Mashiv Yichayev, even though it's Halech, shows you like Halech is Chayev, like Rav Chia, not like Rav Sheshis. So Rav Sheshis will argue, lo, 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 Two is also potter, and a Halech is potter. Hadikani Shalosh, the reason I said three, and three is potter, la pukim Rav Shemalazah, to exclude from Shemalazah the first shita. Dumber, motive makes the time of Shemalazah, Rav Shemalazah says five and three, the arguments of five and three is motive, and mix us, and Yichayev, Avichayev, 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 Kamash, when I say no, the Meshav of Eid, Avichayev, potter. Right, Hochanami Mestavra says says the Gemara. Now listen to this. It's good far as says uh, according to Rav Sheshis. It's Mestavra that two is also potter. Right, he says really two is also potter. Right, right. He says Lo Meishu every time uh, upotter. Says time of Shosh time Chayev Hosha. Says no. He says Lo Lo Meim Lachosh time is also potter. The reason I said three is to find the case of the exclude from Rav Kiva, but the truth is two is also be potter even if it's halach. Hochanami Mestavra, listen to this. It's Mestavra that two is potter. If you'd say two is chayev, is chayev b'shvua. So b'shol is hechi potter. How would Rabbi Kiva potter by three? If I say two, I'm chayev b'shvua, and if I say three, I'm potter b'shvua. 
So, so why would you ever say two? A room may come around. So the guy is Avi will employ a ruse. So I mean, if I would say two, you know, I would have to swear. I'd rather pay an extra shekel or an extra seller dinner and not have to swear. Uh mean a stein being a scribe have to swear, right? Because if you would say that Stein is like Halech and Halech is Chayv and Shvua, so why would I ever claim two? I would rather say three and pot myself in Shvua. Yeah, huh? But he's a liar. He's a liar, but he would he would he would he would, words, he would, would people lie. People oh no, people will say oh you're three. I'll pay. Right. People would rather pay an extra dinner, not lie, saying I owe you three. I I admit that I owe you three in order to avoid a Shvua. Iamen a Stein be in a Shvua. If you would say. That for two you have to make a shvua because halach with a shvua is halach with a shvua, you have to make a shvua and two is like halach over here because he's got a star. I mean a shtayim be in a shtayim to swear a mishal dahave can make sure he has a So if you if two would be chayiv, why would anybody admit to two? They'd rather admit to three and not have to make a shvua. And if you employ a ruse, he's not a liar per se. He's just saying, yeah, I'll give you an extra shekel. Right, he'll say, I owe you three. You know, I'd rather pay. I'd rather pay an extra. Not just a lie. I'd rather pay extra. I owe you. I owe you. I'd rather pay an extra, not to avoid a shul. Right. Right. No. 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 But I'm saying, but the lova would rather say, I'll pay you three and avoid a shul. They'll lose the extra. I'm saying. Well, no. No. I said, but right. No. But right. Exactly. But I'm saying, but if 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 he's arguing. And, he, and and he's saying, listen, let's say he really owes him two. But he doesn't want to admit to two because he'd have to make a shvua. If you say that, this, 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 this is all the reason why. If we say two, I, I'd rather say three. El Shmami Nashtaim the Matzis. See, she's also the part. El Akasha the Rafia. So Rav Sheshis has asked, Rav Sheshis has answered his point. But what about Rafia? El Shmami Nashtaim the Matzis. El Akasha the Rafia. It's Akasha the Rafia. Because now, Apparently, you would say that Stein was also a putter, like we've explained. Because if if uh, Stein would be high, why would he admit to two when he can admit to three and avoid the shvua? El kashul of kiyot kashul of kiyah. Rav Kiyah says what that you said that you see that Stein would be putter even though it's halach. So again, the same answer we gave before. Rav Kiyah will argue that halach is normally you motive be so you have to pay, so you have to make a shvua. Hey, there's no difference between being me motive to saying yes, I owe you seventy five, or I'm motive seventy five and here it is. Same thing, you have to make a shvua. But over here, why don't you make a shvua over here by two? Again, because you say three, Rebbe Shem Lazar says you make a shvua, right? But two, you don't make a shvua. Shiny also, really two would also make a shvua. But shiny also make a messiah of star. I don't have to make a shvua. I don't have to make a shvua, like we said, because the star confirms me. I don't have to make a shvua. Why would I have to swear that it's two? The star, the star is is proof to me to my argument. Or because the star obligates karka, and when there's an obligation of karka. I don't have to make a shvua. Whenever karka is involved, we learn out of sukkum. Out of it's a call par and call. So later on, that you don't make a shvua on on uh, karka. Okay, so we have this machlok between Rav Chia and Rav Sheshes whether halach is chayav shvua someone makes it or not. Most of is up to braid Rav Nachman from a mishnah in Masechet Shvuas. Tanu keil makarka. Let's say I say you owe me a vessel, a kli. That's worth ten dollars and a piece of karka that's worth hundred dollars. You owe me these two things. Hold of a kalim and cover karka. Now you're moting the kalim, your motive, the kafar bakarka. You you deny the karka. So in that case, you don't make a shvua. Why? Why would you make a shvua? You, you uh, on the karka, you don't make a shvua in karka, right? And you're moted to the kalim, right? So that you pay your kalim. Hold of a karka bakarka. Same thing. If I mote on the karka, that doesn't bring me make me shvua because you don't make a shvua in karka. The kafar bakalim on the kalim, I deny the whole thing. And on the Kalim, I deny the whole thing. There's no shvua there either. There's no more to mix us. Potter. Potter mix us karka. Potter. Let's say I motor mix us on the karka. Also potter, because you never make a shvua in karka, even if you motor mix us. Mix us Kalim. Ah, let's say I admit to the Kalim. You you claim two Kalim, and I say I, I admit to one. Okay, so I have to make a shvua on the other kli that I deny, right? Mix us Kalim chayim. Now, time of the Kalim and karka. Why, when it's Kalim and karka, don't you make a shvua? The karka la because you don't make a shvua in karka. Hakelim a kelim, do me a kelim a karka. Think about something for a minute. Karka is always is always halach, right? So he's here. It's not like I got to go get it. Karka is always here. Let's say it would be kelim the kelim, do me a kelim a karka, where it's here. You'd have to make a shvua. Kelim the kelim. In other words, you ask you you tell me uh, I owe you you you. The Malva says you owe me two kelim. Yeah, I, I gave you two kelim. And the loba says, I admit to one, I admit to one. And the other one is here, like karka, because he says, again, 
if it's kalim and karka, you don't make shvur because you don't make shvur and karka. But let's say it would be kalim and kalim like kalim and karka, where just like the karka is here, the other kli is also here. The one that I admit to is here. Also, you'd be chayim. You'd be chayim to make a shvur. Ah, that's what's mashma. Pechi dami. Lav the omer lehelach because he said helach. It's like karka where the one I admit to is right here. Rishma min helach. If you see a kasha now on Rav Sheish, this is a proof to Rav Chia that helach is chayim because he says kalim and karka. You don't make a shvur why? Because it's because it's karka. But if we be kalim kalim like kalim and karka where they're both here, where the the one that I admit to is here, you'd be chayim, right? You put it because you don't make a shvur and karka. But if we be kalim and kalim where where one of them, the one that I admit to is here, like the karka, where it's here, it's helech, mash b'yichayim. So it's a proof to Rav Chia against Rav Sheish. It's like more slow. Lo l'meim l'chakem kam is also potter. Even if the kli is here. Hodik tani keilim the karka. The reason it tells you keilim is karka, to tell you, hakam ash mulan, that hodib and mixes keilim chayim v'apala karka, to teach me that if I mow it to the, let's say there's a, I, I say you owe me a hundred a piece of karka and two keilim, and I mow it to part of the keilim, what do we say before? Mixes kalim, you're chayiv even on the karka to make a shvu. You know, you don't make a shvu in karka, but once you make a uh, shvu on, on the kalim, which are metalflin, uh, that that drags on, that obligates a shvu on the karka also. It's what's called shvu gorera shvu. Hakashman, that hope mixes kalim, chayiv al karka. The truth is that if it's kalim, kalim, you're also potter, because helech is potter, according to Pshashis. The chayish over here is where it's not, it's not, uh, um, it's not helech. The Kiddush is, is that if I claim two kalim and karka, and you're motored to one of the kalim, and you deny the other kli, you have to swear on that. You also have to swear on the karka. That's Kiddush. How to cut a kalim and karka is to teach me how to mix this kalim and chayv alpha karka. So it's more what's the Kiddush in that. That's what's the Kiddush in that mission in Shavu is Mike Mashman Zokin, that one obligates the other. Tanina, we're going to learn it later on in this Masech, it's really a mission Kiddushin. Zokin, a chasm shayla machrai is a chasm reshach. In the Chasm Shachar is Karka. The Chasm Shem is Metalflin. When I have to make a Shvu Metalflin, that can obligate me to make a Shvu also on the Karka. So we learned that in Kedushin. Leash, but they give a swear lamb. Here is in, in, in Shvu is where we talk about really the Lachas of Shvu. That's the main Alacha. That what? That if I have to make a Shvu on, on Metalflin, like Motiv and Mixas, or where there's one aid against me, uh, that I could also, that can drag on, that can obligate me to make a shvur in karka too, even though on karka alone you wouldn't do it. So <laughs> that's really the mission is in shvurs. In Kedushin, it was just meant because of a different halacha. What's the different halacha? The different halacha is when it comes to a kinyan, the other way around. That if I make a kinyan on karka, I can become a metalplan. You remember the case with uh, with Marcelo Vashon when he was traveling to America for Pesach or somebody? And what did the rabbi tell him? How are you going to sell the chametz? You're not here. Well, you're mocked into him a piece of uh, the step of your house, the threshold, and together with that, you get all the chametz, right? A whole, a whole, uh, why? Because because uh, if you make a kinyan on karka, if I sell you my house and my car, I and you make a kinyan on the house, you can acquire the car with the two without a special kinyan, even if the car is not on my property, it's somewhere else. That's how it works. Because they were talking about the halacha, like Rashi says in the last line on the page. When you buy assets that have a Christ, meaning real estate, they can, they can, you can be Kona a metaphlin with it. The Kesar Star Chazaka. When you make a regular Kenyan on Karka with Kesar Star Chazaka, you can make the, you could you could acquire metaphlin, which normally need Agba or Mashik or something else. I of that. So once we talk about that, that that uh, uh, that if you acquire the Chasm Shay Samachrais, you can acquire the Chasm Samachrais with it. So we tell you the halacha and condition also. We also mentioned salacha. That if you make a shvua on the top and the other way, and make a shvua on the top, that obligates you. That obligates you to make a shvua on the karka also. But the truth is, Rav Sheshes will maintain that kalim and kalim. You're also potter. If I if I say you owe me karka, or if I say you owe me two two kalim, and you admit to one and deny the other, even if the other one is here, even if the one that I'm motivated to is right here, it still would be potter for making a shvua. Why? Because uh, because halach is uh, not a case of motor mix us. Halach is really like denying the whole thing. On the one, on one thing that I admit, it's here. It's no, no content. There's no, there's no fight. Here it is. And the other thing, I'm denying the whole thing. Says the Gemara. Ulamando my halach potter. According to Rav Sheshis, who says we're at the top of hey now. Ulamando my halach is potter. Am I isroch for lemute karka? Listen, it's a good kasha. Why do you need a pasuk to say you don't make shvuah karka? Right? Mishvuah hakol karka halachu. Think about it. 
Why do you have to make a shvu? What do you, you have a special policy? It's learned out of a, we'll see later on, learn out of a cloud protocol from Sukkim that you don't make a shvu in karka. Why would you ever have to make a shvu in karka? If you deny the whole thing, there's there's no there's no shvu, there's no uh, there's no shvu the rice anyway. If you admit to part of it, admit to part of it, it's always halach. If you say halach is potter, so there's no shvu, it's more of a mix us on the, the uh, halach is potter, there's no shvu. If you deny the whole thing, you deny the whole thing, there's no shvu anyway, Mera Torah. And what's motive of makes us? But it's always Halach, the Karka is always here. So why do I need a Pasuk for that? I'll call Karka Halach, he'll answer you, if Shesh will answer, it's Rikki Kwe, you need the Pasuk. Why? Let's say the Karka is not intact. I sold you a nice field, a nice wheat field, and you took the field and you dug it, pits in there, ditches, Boris, Shech, and Maris, you dug caves there. It's not here in the same way, it's not the same thing. Halach means. No, uh, you. I say you owe me a hundred dollars, and you say here's seventy five. It's right here. That's you give, you give it back. But so you say with karka, it's always like that. It's always here. It's not always here. Could have messed up the karka. Inami or hechadatano kilim kalim bekarka bahoda bekalim bekafar kos. Let's say your moda on the kalim, and your kofar on the karka. Okay, your kofar on the karka. Your moda on the kalim. Your kofar on the karka. So it's not hey look, you're not giving it back just now. You deny the karka. You deny. So why are you potter? If I ask for two things. I ask for Kalim and Karka, and you're mowed on the Kalim, and you deny the Karka. Normally, you'd have to make a shvua on the part that you deny, right? You deny the Karka. Oh, the Kiddush is, you don't swear on Karka. You don't swear on Karka. So we need it in that case. Not where you admit to the Karka. The Kasha was, do you admit to Karka? It's always Halach. So one answer is, the Karka may not be intact the way you left it. The other answer is, you may not be admitting to the Karka. You may be denying the Karka and mowed it to the Kalim. So your motive and mix us there if we talk about two different things. That's another shot. If you motive to if you demand wheat and barley and you're motive to one and not to the other, is that motive mix or not? That's another shot. But assuming that that's motive and mix us over here, you're not you're not being motive to the karka. There's no hey, look, you're denying the karka. So there you need the pasuk to tell me you don't swear on karka. All right, we'll pick it up from here. This one we're gonna have another proof tomorrow from this Toshma about about the question of. Halach, whether your Halach is Chayv or Potter. Where's not really posted, but it seems we passed like Rabshashis. And then we're going to come back on tomorrow's Zach. We're going to come back to Rabkhia's first halacha, that where Adam, where Adam said, right, the first case, right, Rabkhia said, now in the case of Halach, that he argued Rabshashis, first case where Rabkhia said, if I'm not motor to the 75, but Adam are motor on my behalf to the 75, am I Chayv there, Shvu or not? Rabkhia says yes, and others say no. All right, we'll pick it up there tomorrow, Mr. Shem. Have a good day, everybody. Shavuot Tobas, Shavuot Tobas.